Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where every week I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm going to carry on measuring weather by making two more instruments, one for air pressure and one for rain. Let's check it out. The Earth's atmosphere is always applying pressure onto the surface of the Earth and this pressure is measured in hectopascals, also called millibars. High and low pressure affect our day-to-day -day weather. When air warms, it rises away from the surface and this leads to low air pressure at the surface. When air cools, it drops down towards the surface and this leads to high air pressure. In general, low air pressure leads to more unsettled weather with clouds and rain and high air pressure leads to more settled weather with some light winds and very little cloud. The first instrument I'm going to make this week is a barometer which is used to measure air pressure and help meteorologists forecast the weather. To make a barometer, you are going to need a glass jar, a straw, a balloon, a pair of scissors and some tape. First thing you're going to do is take your balloon and the end that you would blow into, you're going to use your scissors and chop off that end. Next, you're going to take the top part of the balloon and stretch it over the top of your glass jar. Make sure that the balloon is pulled nice and tight across the top of the jar. Once your balloon is stretched over the top of your jar, you're going to take your straw and a piece of tape and you're going to tape the straw onto the top of the balloon. Once your straw is attached to the top of your balloon, that is our barometer ready to go. Take your barometer over and set it next to a window. Attach a piece of paper to the window or to a wall next to where the end of your straw is sticking out and mark a line where your straw is. So how is our barometer going to work? Well, when we stretch the balloon over the top of the jar, we trapped in the current air pressure. The line that we have just marked on the paper shows us what the air pressure was when we made our barometer. Now when the air pressure outside the jar increases, it is going to press down on top of the balloon like I'm doing with my fingers and you'll notice that the end of the straw lifts in the air higher than the line that we've marked on the paper. This shows us that there is high air pressure that day. When the air pressure is lower outside, the air inside the jar is going to push up on the balloon and that is going to mean our straw will go lower than our line and that shows us that we have low air pressure. Keep an eye on your barometer and compare the pressure on different days to the weather experienced on those days and see if it matches up to what you would expect from high pressure days and low pressure days. So I've just explained that in days with low air pressure we'd expect to see a lot more cloud and even some rain. In the United Kingdom, Cardiff is the wettest city, with Glasgow, where I'm from, being a close second. The way meteorologists measure rainfall is by using a rain gauge, and that is what I'm going to show you how to make next. To make a rain gauge, you will require a disposable plastic bottle, a craft knife or a pair of scissors, a marker pen, some sellotape and a measuring tape or a ruler. The first thing I'm going to do is take my disposable plastic bottle and with my craft knife I'm going to cut the top off the bottle. Once I've cut the top off the bottle, I'm going to take that top bit that I've cut off and I'm going to place it inside the rest of the bottle so that it rests just at the top and I'm going to use some tape to hold it in place. Now that I've got that top part placed inside my bottle, it's time to mark lines up the side of the bottle so that we can measure how much rain we have collected. I'm going to use my measuring tape and mark centimetres up the side of my bottle and you could do the same either with centimetres or you could mark in inches. Remember you can't just have lines up the side of your bottle, you need to identify what these lines stand for, whether it is one centimetre or one inch. So I'm going to mark these on my bottle just now. And you'll see that my bottle goes all the way up to 14 centimetres. Once your rain gauge is built, take it outside and bury the bottom part of it in the ground so that your rain gauge doesn't get knocked over.
when it rains, you'll notice that the water falls down through the funnel and collects in the bottom. When you want to see how much rain has fallen in one day, just go outside, take your rain gauge out of the ground and see where the water level is sitting compared to the markings that you have put in your bottom. The rainiest day in history happened in 1966 with 72 inches of rain falling on a French island near Madagascar. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I would like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've put links here to the other STEM demonstrations that I've done so far. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring weather with air pressure and rain.